Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard, Cisneros at your service. Today I'll be reading the October 23rd Daily Inspirational Message, the condensed version. It's two paragraphs long, then I'll settle myself, say a little prayer, and then make a couple comments on the message. And I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. Okay, here we go. The title, Aligning Peace with the Idea of Being on Time. Paragraph 1. When we buy into the ego's false concept of time, the result is to worry, stress out, and judge self and others for being or not being on time. When we trust in divine timing, peace results. Here we understand that because God is in control, we will get to where we're going exactly when we need to be there. As love's creations, we always try to be respectful of others and be on time, yet always with the knowledge and peace of mind that when we get there is when God needs us to be there. This attitude releases our worries, stresses, and judgments of self and others and aligns us with the state of peace. The state of peace is our true and eternal home. Today, let us use societies of the idea of time to bring us into a closer alignment with divine time, bringing time, peace, respect, and trust together. Paragraph 2. Today we find ourselves stressing out over the idea of time. Let us take a deep breath in and breathe out all of our worries. This moment is being offered to us to help us develop a greater trust in God's plan, in His divine timing. As a son or daughter of eternity, even the false concept of time can be used to help us heal and awaken. As we heal and awaken, we become respectful of others' beliefs in time, while still aligning with the sacred idea of divine time. Today, let us learn to use man's false concept of time to develop a greater trust in God's plan. When we do, the state of peace results. God is perfection, and thus today, tr and thus today trust that you will always get to your destination at the right time. As your understanding of the divine timing grows, your conscious union with the eternal in you grows, and you become a beacon of peace that others can see and follow. All right, align peace with the idea of being on time. Okay, how can we make uh, time a useful companion to us uh, in an effort to be the peace that God created us to be. God created us to be love and peace is just one of its many expressions. And so how can we use time to increase our peace and thus become a brighter light to our brothers and sisters so they can see another way to the state of peace through the idea of time. Okay. Um, we always do the best we can to be on time. That's, that's without, without saying, really. And so, no matter if we're buying into the uh, ego's uh, concept of time, where if we're not on time, we should judge ourselves and criticize ourselves or others. Um, we should become frustrated, stressed, blame and criticize maybe others for not being, or for being slow to get ready or traffic being slow, or what have you, or being ash feeling ashamed for being late. That's all the stories of the ego. Those are the stories that try to have you judge yourself and others so that you can separate yourself from source, from, from love. And one of its aspects is forgiveness. So if you're forgiving, your, your mind is aligned with the mind of God. And so we're one. But if we're judging self or others, we're separating ourselves from our true uh, source and function and so today all we do 
It's obviously respecting other people's time. We always try to be on time. But if we're not getting there on time, or if others are not getting there on time for a meeting with us, let us practice using those moments not to condemn ourselves or others, but instead use it to practice trusting in the divine time, divine timing of the universe. That each and every moment is sacred, sacredly created to help us heal and awaken. So these moments where the ego would have us judge and condemn our brothers and sisters, those same moments where we become stressed and anxious and our blood pressure rises, we can use to practice trusting divine time, divine time. We could practice um, forgiveness of self and others. We can practice deep breathing, meditation, becoming calm and centered. And so, well, see, when these times happen, and the ego has us judge ourselves or others for being late or what have you, not being on time. We don't have to dive deeper into the darkness. We have all, we have all tasted that, that judgment. And it doesn't taste good. It's, it doesn't feel right to be judging others or, or yourself for what, in essence, sometimes we can't seem to control. Instead, let us uh, just use those exact moments to practice trusting God more. Those moments that the ego would have you put yourself and others down, you can use them to practice trusting God more. Trusting that, yes, I'm doing the best I can to be there on time. Or, yeah, maybe my brother and sister are doing the best they can in that day to be on time. And if I'm not on time or if they're not on time, you know what? There is a greater purpose to, to our experience. I don't have all the answers why I'm not on time or my brother and sister are not on time. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe God had them uh, miss some sort of accident because of the timing or for what, whatever reason. Uh, when you practice trusting God and over the, e the eagles and man's idea, false concept of time and false use of time you know, to judge self and others, to condemn self and others, to self-criticize. We don't want to play that game. We're here to be the light of the world. And so when the ego says judgment, we say forgiveness. When the ego says to condemn, we say compassion. When the ego says to be anxious uh, or um, frustrated with what's going on that's keeping you from being on time, source says practice breathing, <laughs> practice deep breathing, <laughs> practice trusting me more. Practice trusting in divine time. And when you do so, what happens? No matter if you're late, quote unquote late, uh, you're always going to be at peace. You're always going to be calm. You're always going to be centered because you're always trusting God. You know that God's plan is much greater than man's plan. God's plan is much more, uh, loving than the eagles programming and conditioning and plan and so let's trust god divine time over the ego and then nasty addiction to judgment of self and others wouldn't that make our lives a little uh better that simple decision not to uh dive into the darkness anymore and instead just take a deep breath God I trust I'm gonna get to where I'm going when I need to get there God I trust that my brother and sister will get here when they're supposed to get here it's this simple right how how much peace how much more peace can we in, um, have in our lives if we just decide to practice divine timing over the ego's need for judgment and condemnation of self and others. And so let us practice doing that. And even when we fall into the judgment ditch, let us start using our own self-judgments to practice realizing that we don't belong there, that we have another choice, that we can practice instead trusting in divine time. And when that, that happens, peace results.
you become centered and calm and confident that everything is happening when it's supposed to happen. And when you know that, gratitude becomes your response to whatever the, the moment is. Thank you, God. Thank you for giving me this peace. All because I chose to trust you instead of this. <laughs> instead of my past programming. And so let us try that today. Let us simply... Um, Trust in divine timing, and by doing so, come back to center and be at peace. And by being at peace, becoming a light for this world. Becoming a uh, reminder to others that they can't choose another way. That they don't have to live in this anxiousness and, and frustration and anger and resentment. And they can be at peace. All by using time. Using time for good. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your time. I love you very much. If you can be so kind as to like, comment, or share this video, it would help with the listening process. And then if you made it this far, again, thank you very much for making it this far. And God willing, we will see each other tomorrow. Peace.